What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for tuning in for another TCG battle video. Today we're going to be playing with the Weird Stage 2 deck that got everybody by storm at the, the Japanese League uh, event. So this is going to be Meganium with Swampert as the draw support and of course Greninja as the main attacker. We have even slacking in this deck with the lazy ability, shutting down abilities and of course the mysterious guidance to get our rare candies on board. I already explained this deck in full detail in a deck analysis uh, yeah, episode on my channel so definitely check that video. It should be in the description below if you want to learn more about this deck. So as a little summary, a recap here, you just get out Meganium and with Quick Ripening Herp we can get out any stage 2 immediately. That could be like Greninja, we get it out, Shuriken Floor, we snipe and then we slash with the attack Hay Slash for 110 damage. The only energy we have is Super Boost Energy. The thing we want to do here is use Hay Slash, jump back into the deck and then of course with lots of draw power thanks to Looker and the Looker Whistles to just get Looker out. We just draw into that energy once again in combination with Swampert. You just draw lots and lots of cards so that's how this deck is uh, being able to function. I don't know if I can pilot it that well because it's a very hard deck to master but at least we're definitely gonna make it shine on the channel. Uh, you guys wanted to see this in action so that is exactly what you're getting here. So uh, we, we even have a cool Swamper deck box which is awesome. So Meganium. We all thought it was like a mediocre, but now we see that lots of people are testing out Meganium with the quick ripening herb ability, making sure that you just smack something on the bench and then you can evolve immediately onto the stage two. So that's very powerful. That means things like Ace Roll are very key and of course a deck like this. We are facing Fire, Carlos, and Lightning. So I have maybe a Tapu Koko deck with some Victini in there. I don't know. Could be something else uh, as well. Maybe a lightning deck with Macargo as a draw engine, everything is possible. The opponent can go first, which is not good for us because we are a total setup deck. The good news is, we start with Vulpix. And the best thing about going second and starting with Vulpix is that we immediately have access to the amazing free attack beacon. We don't run energy, so we're definitely gonna take that attack for granted and just get those things in the hand. We even have Lily in the opening hand, so I think I'm just gonna smack Lily down draw like four cards and something and then use timer ball if i use timer ball and i'm stuck with evolutions we don't draw as uh, a lot with lily so this is slugma as a draw support there are lightning energies and there are two of them maybe a zero or a gx build that could be the case i wonder if we're gonna be able to do something about it because i have no idea how this deck even uh did so well i i can see the strategy be behind like using ace roll okay zero aura shows up Zero Aura with the Electro Power will dish out tons and tons of damage, so that is definitely not a good way to go about this. Okay, the good news is we have a switch. We can use the switch here, but it's not a very, very interesting. I don't want to use my switch. I'm just going to go for Lily for three. I know it's very, very bad. I know that, but we have Timer Ball and all that good stuff. Wow, that just looks weird. Let's use Timer Ball, one heads and two heads. So we have lots of things to work with. I think... Wow, the bad thing is that we cannot get out anything, so definitely a Swampert here. Um, uh, what else do we possibly need? Maybe a Meganium. The Vulpix can evolve and get already a rare candy, but we don't have any basics, so let's get these on board. Wow, we have lots of cards in the hand, a lot of cards, so we're gonna use the Beacon, search two Pokemon. I don't know if this is the correct play though, so this guy will be able to free retreat thanks to the ability and we cannot even get out slacking so i think two chikoritos are kind of key and uh, this one can evolve we can might even get out froakie here now that i think about it let's get these on board i don't know if that is the correct play with this deck should have checked if our super boost energy was in there as well that is always something you have to check but there's a lot of cards in here like nas ball ultra ball timer ball that you can definitely make sure that you can get of course your resources we do have gladian in hand but i'm definitely gonna rely on the power draw the bad news is that he uh, can of course rely on the full voltage gx to get his uh, zero aura powered up which does not look very promising for us oh boy also, this ability does uh, make sure that the Slugmas do, do have free retreat. And now the full voltage GX is in full action and he's getting all of his resources on board. So he's gonna have a full prep Zero Aura GX soon. And now uh, we have to be afraid here. So we're just gonna smack a bunch of things down while we can. We're gonna use the rare candy. I want to use my rare candy for Meganium here. Ah, oh, boy. That now nah, we're definitely gonna use one here because we need to draw into some resources so that's why i'm doing this we even can get rid of a greninja here not even we even have the rescue stretcher so let's get rid of this 
Hopefully we get something nice, otherwise we're gonna have to re resort to Gladian. We have Acrobike, we have a little nine tails to get ourselves a rare candy. Ooh. That is interesting. So, um, hmm, we can switch and sacrifice something. First things first, let's use Acrobike. We have a timer ball, that is cool. Let's just use timer ball once again, see where we go from there. One tails, one, ah, both are, both are tails. That is not good, not good indeed. I think I just wanna go to switch here. He's definitely gonna destroy something here. He might as well destroy a little Froakie. I think that is good. We could also use Guzma, but he can free retreat thanks to its ability. First things first, let's use the Gladion and see what else we are possibly gonna get here. Lots of Nest Balls. Acerola is good. I think I'm gonna go for Nest Ball and Tin out the deck. We're gonna grab ourselves another Chikorita. There we're gonna go. Chikorita, we have the ability block. That could be interesting, but I think getting out Meganium is the main key here. And Vulpix also needs to stay alive here, so hopefully he does not have a Guzma in hand. Otherwise, we're pretty much screwed. We could Beacon, but we don't have any draw support. So this is very, very difficult for me. So I'm just gonna swap over to a Froki. Next turn, we have draw support thanks to Swampert. And hopefully we can use the Alola Ninetales GX in order to get two rare candies to get our stuff going. Then we have like a Greninja that can show a little bit of action. Lucky for us, Greninja is not weak to uh, lightning, it's weak to grass. So this guy limits at 160 with a choice band, 190 with electro power, 220. So he needs two electro powers and a choice band in order to pull it off. He is uh, gonna be able to one shot our little Froki. And I assume he just smacked down this Eater's Paradise conversation. Cons ah, what am I saying? How do you pronounce this? Conservation area, yeah. He's just gonna smack down our Zero Aura. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. We have another Mudkip. Ooh, that is cool. So I'm going to evolve and get two rare candies from this fantastic Nine Tails. Two rare candies. That is awesome. We could also get a Looker Whistle here. So if we get rare candy, we get Meganium. But Meganium might also be fragile. We might as well get two uh, Meganiums out. Now we can just evolve that, draw some more. I think two candies is the key here to just keep our consistency as good as we can. So let's get the Meganiums on board. So if, even if he knocks out one Meganium, it's not even gonna do too much here. We're also gonna use the other one here. Bam. We have Rescue Stretcher. That is very interesting. We could Guzma this guy out. Actually, we want to draw here. Maybe getting out... Getting out a Looker Whistle would have been better. Okay, we got a Looker regardless, so that is cool. We even have another rare candy that we can use. Oh boy. It's gonna be great. So let's use the Looker here. Get three cards. Wow, we have lots of supporters right now. We are gonna use Looker Whistle once again to get two Lookers in the hand. So we don't draw into those. Wow, now we're drawing lots of cards. We need our energy here, so hopefully we are gonna be able to find it sooner or later. We're gonna discard Meganium, we don't need it at this point. We can get out another Greninja. Snipe 30. So quick ripening herb to go to this Greninja. This one cannot attack regardless, so we can snipe. Yeah, I'm gonna snipe 30 on the Zero Aura. Up next, hopefully we draw into... We can use Rescue Stretcher, hopefully we can get out. We can get out like another Greninja at this specific point in the game. With Quick Ripening Herb, sniping 30 once again. That could be the case. Do we do that though? Do we do that? Nah. I think I'm just gonna pass the turn here, believe it or not. We have two Meganiums, so we can evolve everything we possibly smack down. So we're gonna wait with Slack up. 
we can Guzma. If we draw into like slacking, we can use Guzma. Get this one stuck in the active because the ability will be shut down. That could be awesome. Our Greninja will definitely get a hit here, which is unfortunate. Oh, Magargo setting up Zero Aura. That is something new. Never haven't seen that before. Magargo is weak to water though, so that is fantastic. We can Guzma that out and knock it out as soon as we get our super boost energy. Alright. This guy will not be able to one-shot us. Hopefully we draw into Acer Wall also we can just snipe once again. Two energies on this. I think he also runs like something like a rainbow energy. Good work. Sightseer. This guy cannot attack this turn. So we are safe unless he gets out. Discard any number. Ah nah, it's definitely not gonna work like that. He's gonna thin out the deck with that. Oh, there's a Raikou. Ooh, Raiko showing up. Oh boy. This guy has 160 HP remaining, so we need one snipe and a hay slash. I think. We get it to 30. He's 130 HP. Yeah, we definitely need that choice band as well. Oof. Harsh. Harsh. Ace Roller goes away. Strange deck. Ultra Ball is gonna see another Zero Aura. He's probably gonna set up another Zero Ah, he already used his GX move, so. Wonder what this is. We can also get two prize cards if he is able to one shot a little nine tons. Have not seen Electro Powers as of yet, and as this card file, nothing of that sort. Oronguru drawing some cards. That looks to be good. Nazball. He's gonna definitely set up his field. I don't know if I uh, play correctly with this deck. You just need to draw cards until you have like your ultimate setup. I don't know if I'm doing things correctly here. I don't know at all. If I draw the super boost energy, things will be fine because we have like four stage twos out at this point. Super boost will be our main way of getting our strategy off. Otherwise, he gets like two prize cards of this card, and uh, I don't want to see that. So, it's gonna be a very long video. I warned you guys, it's a four stage two deck. What do you expect? It's, we are very, very slow. There are actually nothing important in the prize cards. There are lots of Nest Balls and like a Chikorita, nothing that we just have to worry about. He's retreating, instructing, and he's definitely gonna smack damage with his Booming Thunder and it's attaching energies to one of the bench Pokemon. Interesting deck choice. I do get the uh, Crushing Charge ability to just set up oh, Electro Power. It's gonna be a uh, ooh, 60 damage. 60 damage. So now we have like 170 remaining. Nazbolt. What do we want? A Mudkip. Swampert is also in there, if we can just get that, things will be alright. Super Boost is also in there. Slacking could happen to just make him stuck in the active. Ah, we're just gonna get this out. Hopefully we draw into some good resources. Red Candy is not needed anymore, so let's get rid of it. Boom. Oh, now we have like lots of cards. We have the Palpad, which can get back the Lady on. Uh, Lookers. Uh, just gonna have to rely on Looker here. Believe it or not. Rescue Stretcher can get back nothing that we want, so probably gonna lose this Greninja here. Oh boy! We are still not done. A second Swampert shows up thanks to the quick ripening herb. Now we have two rescue stretchers, that means we can shuffle back the Greninja line. First I'm just gonna use the power draw and let's get rid of a Lily, because Lily will not work at this point in the game. Okay, look at whistle, Blue use that, there's nothing in here anymore, the super boost is something we definitely want. There's also switch card, which will be necessary. We have lots of Guzmas and Acerolas. You can even use Palpat for Acerola. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Ninja will probably go down this turn. Do we shuffle things in? Ah, we're gonna wait with the rescue stretchers until we draw that super boost energy. I think that is the correct play. We can also thin out the deck a little bit. Let's get rid of Swampert, let's get rid of the Looker. And get that Vulpix out so we can just power draw into that energy. And that switch is good, so I think we have a Fruit and a Greninja that we have to shuffle them in at this point. I think there's no escape here. Let's get this on board and this on board. Ah, uh, what else? Eh, random Mudkip, you never know. And now we just pass the turn. Oh boy, this is going to be so crazy. He is going to be able to one-shot our Greninja, that is for sure. But then we have the super boost energy mechanic that just helps out, us out quite a bit. Only one Electro Power, so that makes me very, very scared. Smooth Over can get an Electro Powers or Choice Bands. Oh no. He always gets the right card with uh, the Smooth Over here, probably a Supporter or something. We do have too much. GX is in play at this point. We are gonna be able to use a drawing a card, using the power draw, using the looker, using the power draw. We're definitely gonna get our combo right here. And then we just repeat the process over and over and over again, hopefully. So he gets the choice band. That is very cool of him. Takes a while for this deck to just show the true might, but hopefully we will make it work somehow. Don't see any Zero Auras as of yet, he only has one. I knew that our Greninja Jax would see the discard at this point. I knew that. I'm just gonna go for Swampert could also one-shot, but then we lose the energy if he somehow miraculously one-shots our Swampert, so that is something we don't want. Okay. So first things first, we could use Acrobike. Do we use Acrobike? Nah, we... Power Draw gets us three cards. Power Draw gets us three cards. Looker gets us three cards. I don't think there's... Yeah, we could just use Power Draw. Get rid of this. We have the Greninja, which is awesome. So we're gonna smack this guy down. We're gonna use another Power Draw. Getting rid of a Mudkip. Oh, wow, <laughs> look at the strategy. So now we're just gonna use the Quick Ripening Herb. That is going to be 60 damage. Let's just see, 140. Yeah, we need that Quick Ripening Herb. Bam, over here. We only need our energy right now. Would you like to put damage counters? Yes, please. Bam. Up next, we use our last power draw. Or actually, we have a looker. That is something we want to use. Getting all of our cards. I think that is fine. Okay, now we have the super boost energy. Finally, we get the choice band onto the Greninja. We get the switch going on. And now we have our combo set up, right? I think that is fine. We just need to get rid of that Eater's Paradise. And that's going to be that. Okay. We can even use Rescue Stretcher, but we're just gonna draw all of our cards immediately. Which power draw? I think Rescue Stretcher could get back some other stuff, but... Yeah, I think that is the ultimate combo here. Hay Slash, we smack damage. And then we just promote something. Would you like to shuffle all cards? Yes. Okay, we get two prize cards for that. And now comes the crazy part. What do we promote? Do we promote a GX? This guy has 150, 160. He needs way too much stuff. He needs Electro Power, he needs Choice Band. He needs three energies onto us. I think that is just the perfect place so we can use Ace Rolla later. I think, hopefully. If it's knocked out, yeah, that's going to be just sad. Hopefully that is the correct play. Next turn we use like Acerola, get that Alola Ninetales on board, and then we promote Slacking, because 
stacking is a little bit better thanks to blocking abilities. We have Zero Aura, we have Ultra Ball. What is he going to grab? Is he going to be able to set this guy up? No, there's no way. No Max Elixir in format. He can use Crushing Charge, he can attach on the turn, but that's going to be that. He can, however, just two shot with a Raikou, as we're going to see here. Uh, he's going to just set him up thanks to the Booming Thunder. But we have a Sharola, and that's going to be awesome. We have lots of ways to get our heavy retreat Pokemon out of the active. We have Ace Rawala, Ace Rawala, Guzma, Guzma, Palpat. So things are possible with this deck. Just glad that I finally got the, our, our super boost energy. You just have to draw lots of cards in order to get to the stage where you just have a mechanic like this. Against decks that do not one shot, you're definitely gonna have a hot and awesome time here because they can never one-shot Greninja. This guy can one-shot Greninja, but it's going to be so difficult. How many energies in his discard pile though? Okay, another Electro Power. That's two of them. Yeah, I just waste them on a little Ninetales. I don't even care at this point. Crushing Charge. Oh boy, that's 90 damage. With two Electro Powers. It is uh, 150. Cynthia? How many Electro Powers does he still have left? 150. If he has a Choice Band and Electro Power or a little Ninetales, we'll see the discard. Miraculously. That could happen. If not, we use Ace Rolla. I wonder if he got it. He's doubting, so Booming Thunder. Look at that damage output. He's just gonna go for the first attack. Understandable. Just want to get that Zero Aura powered up. So what we are going to do here is going to go for the power draw. We're gonna get rid of an acro bike for the means of it. Hey, oh, there's our super boost energy. We're smacking down the Froki. We're using the quick ripening herb and evolve into Greninja immediately. We smack down 110. So I think we just can snipe 30 on we still have the choice man once again, which is not enough. This guy will never ever ever one shot. Hmm. We could Guzma things out later. Crushing charge. I'm not afraid of this Raikou whatsoever. Only 90 damage, that's good. I'm just gonna snipe on the Zero Aura. Next, we are going to use a Cervola. Hooray! We're gonna promote our Greninja. Then we are gonna smack down Super Boost Energy. We are also going to uh, go into the slacking mode right here because I like getting our ability block going on because of that Electro Power shenanigans we saw before. He's getting that out with McCargo and stuff, so Crushing Charge is now blocked, which is awesome. So now we just, we can palp at something in the thing. Ah, I'm just gonna leave it for later. So, now another Haste Slash, that will not KO this Raikou. And we swap, swap back into that. Hooray! Face someone your own size with Slack. Oh boy, this guy has 160 uh, HP remaining. Hmm. I wonder if we should KO the Raikou up next. Huh. This Raikou only dishes 90. Sights here is getting rid of lots of resources. What is this? Only one Electro Power left. Maybe he has Kukui and stuff. I don't know. Crushing Charge will not work. He can only attach one energy. He can get it set up. Probably want to wait until he has like a Choice Band and an Electro Power. Choice Band and Electro Power is extra 60. Uh, with the 160 damage is... 220, still not one-shotting a Greninja. Ha, <laughs> awesome. He only has 10 cards left in deck, so this is a, kind of a crazy match. We can use Ace Roll on the, the ability is blocked. Okay. So, again, we need to power draw. Let's get rid of a Nest Ball for now. We get all of our cards. Hooray! Froki shows up once again. We 
<laughs> cannot power now. We're just gonna use the quick ripening herb. This is evolve. That's an extra 30 damage going straight. Would you like to just go? Yes. And that is bam. He's at 130. So the, the only thing we need is a choice band on here. A super boost energy. And then we Guzma out this guy. All right, that is awesome. Bell bad, still not necessary at this point. And we hay slash for the KO. And he can see it. So that is how the Greninja deck functions. We cannot play two rounds because this deck takes way too much time already. So as you see, as soon as you get your setup with the ultimate Greninja combo, you just smack damage, uh, snipe damage, go back in the deck, put something up front and repeat the process until you win. So it takes a little time to set up, but as you get the combo off, it's just a very high, uh, yeah, high risk, high reward deck. If you can get it off, it's awesome. So anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button as always, subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.